again everybody and we are back with another Italy vlog and today we are starting day one in Venice. It was a bit of a morning. We had to catch a, a train and we both agreed that we have overpacked for this trip. And, uh, we had to, and it's, it's a problem because I would just leave stuff behind, but I brought things that I like, so I can't just ditch it. I brought things I like, and there's nothing I can actually just like, without any regret, just throw away. So I just have to deal with it. But uh, spirits are much higher now that we're no longer going to. Go <laughs> that's, that's the agenda. But now that we're not dragging uh, our uh, suitcases through all of this, it, it's going to be a much better day. I'm having flashbacks to the Mufasa death scene. <laughs> Except instead of charging antelopes, it's a whole bunch of senior citizens. So now we're on the big famous uh, Ponte di Rialto, the, the major bridge. This is like the main thoroughfare to get from one side of Venice to the other. There's not many other options. Therefore, you're out of luck, bub, if you come through when all the cruise ship groups come through. So here we are at St. Marcos Square, and let me just tell you guys, we're here in the off season. <laughs> off season. I'm feeling that clown's expression in the middle right there. <laughs> So we are now at the Doge's Palace, which uh, I think is a museum. Is it a museum? Yeah. Okay, it's a museum. So we're gonna see more super old Italian stuff. Not sure if they're gonna let me record in there. We'll see. Neither she or the baby look too pleased about their predicament. Well, that is just a lovely hat. Now we are through the courtrooms and we are going to the Bridge of Sides. Now things are looking a little less glamorous. Yeah, that'll do it. Freedom! Bad naughty children go in the cell. You too. Okay, it's like 9 million degrees outside, so the fact that it is like a refrigerator in here shows to how miserable it must have been for the prisoners. That one looks like the perfect place for a ghost. Good lord, look at that bridge! Oh boy. And we are finally out. You finish your sentence just to get stared at by a bunch of judgmental men. Something is going on over there. That's not the perfect pet, that's terrifying. And over here, we can see all the things I could never afford. And on tonight's episode of The Walking Dead, 
not really. We uh, this hotel we stayed at doesn't have a breakfast, so uh, there was no coffee, and we're on a hunt to find a place that's open. It's like 9:30, and I don't know. It seems like in Venice things stay open later, but they open really late in the day, so the hunt continues. Well, it was mission successful, so now we are making our way to the water bus stop because we're gonna go see Murano and Burano Island. The, uh, the ones that are famous for blown glass and lace, but it's really beautiful right now because it's not super crowded with tourists. So you can actually see a little bit of the city without being completely drowned in people. So we are now currently in the uh, Murano Glass Museum. Look around at that. Uh, when we're done here, we're probably gonna try and find some glass stuff to buy. We are now on the island of Burano, which is the one that is the lace-making capital. And it is beautiful and known for its bright technicolor buildings. Well, our luck was bound to run out somehow. As soon as we got on the uh, water bus to head back to the main land of Venice, it started pouring down rain and neither of us have an umbrella or are prepared anyway. But, uh, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna try and go back to the, uh, the hotel now once we can find our way. I think the rain's making people crazy. All right, you guys, that just about wraps up Venice for us. We have to catch a train in the morning and we are going back to Rome again for one more day because that is where we go to the airport to go home. So uh, we are just about done with this journey. Well, I will catch you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching, and before you go, here's a special shout out to my patrons who donated $20 or more. Painty, Zestros, Jane Ives, Fantasy Rider Cosplay, Dark Nido Taki, Avrock Levgri, Jesse, Kimimaro Kaguya, and Simon Leverdeer Delisle. Thanks so much, you guys! If you're interested in becoming a patron and helping me to keep YouTube creepy, please feel free to check out the link in the card. 